Allergy season is just around the corner, and our resident naturopathic Dr. Olivia Rose is here with some remedies to ward off those runny noses and itchy eyes. I think it's already actually begun. I've yeah. been sneezing all weekend. I'm feeling it for sure. And a lot of people have reactions to over-the-counter antihistamines yeah, or traditional drugs. Yeah, so mm -hmm. you've brought in a host of natural remedies. Tell yes. us about them. Okay, so the first one we have is sting stinging nettle. So it's loaded with nutrients, so zinc, calcium, B vitamins, amino acids, and it's also, we use it as a natural antihistamine. So you can take it throughout the day, so I brewed it here. So these are all and in tea form, you would actually these drink are in tea your form. medicine. Yeah, but you can also um, incorporate it in salads. You can um, eat it. Yeah, you can eat it. Yeah, oh, the wow. leaves, the fresh leaves, if you can find the fresh leaves, because it does grow locally. It's a perennial mm -hmm. in G the GTA. So oh, really? It, it smells yeah. like um, like seaweed, like um, kombu or... Yeah, yeah. exactly. It's very fresh, seaweed. herby. Very interesting. So very and neutral. it just looks like dry basil or something. Basically. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then next? And then we have um, astragalus. Okay. So astragalus, this is the, the root. Um, and you can smell it here as well, brewed. And it's it native like to- like wood. Yes, it's very hardy, so you might have to Ooh. steep it for a bit longer. It's very strong, it's definitely medicine. Um, and so it is a strengthener of the immune system. So I have people take this one prior to allergy season starting okay. to help strengthen the immune system. It's an adaptogen, it helps the body to adapt to stress. Because you know when you're stressed, the immune system is more weakened, Absolutely. and then you're more susceptible to cold and flu and allergies, mm -hmm. right? So, so that's um, astragalus. Astragalus, yes. Astragalus. And the next one we have is eyebrow. Right. And as the name Ooh, states, it's really good. Nice. Yeah, it's really good for inflammation in the eyes and for sinus sinusitis and nose inflammation and nice. runny nose. So it contains tannins. And, and it so smells that helps like, to, like a chamomile tea or something. Yeah, it's very fresh and it can help dry up the secretions. And then what I did here, so this bag, so once you're done drinking your tea, you can take the bag and you can actually use it topically to help soothe. Like a compress. Yeah, like a, a compress to help soothe any inflammation in your eyes. For those of us who can't open our eyes because we sneeze so much, exactly. you get that inflammation. And then the rubbing and oh, very irritation. Interesting. And, then and then we have butter burr. So butter burr has a really long history of use in Europe. It's mm -hmm. um, a, a, another natural antihistamine and it is fantastic for treating just the congestion and swelling and asthma symptoms with allergies. Okay, so how do you know what kind of dosage to take? If this is indeed in tea form, yeah. is it possible to overdose or you know because when you take a typical till, pill it might last four to eight hours what do you do exactly. if it's in a tea so form? Usually for the teas, about every three to four hours, very similar. You can take them, and depending on how severe your allergies are, you can go a little bit higher, but you can usually start with just a tablespoon of the dried herb, and you can steep it for about five to 10 minutes to extract all the nutrients, mm -hmm. and then you can take it throughout the day. Okay. That's kind of what I did with the nettles over there. All right, and this last one? And then we have dandelion root. So we don't think about a liver tonic during allergy season per se, mm -hmm. but dandelion root is very helpful for the liver, and the liver's job during allergy season is really to help um, take away those excess histamines that our system builds up and that creates all the inflammation. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really important to support your liver and, and help to help that process along. Is it so bitter dandelion. like I eat dandelions? It's quite, yeah. So you probably have the leaf and you yeah. can put the leaves in your salad. It's quite bitter. Okay, but it's yeah. not the same as eating dandelions in your salad. No, it's a bit it's a bit stronger. Okay, and, so and it has course, more medicinal qualities to exactly, it. Exactly, yeah. Interesting. Now, I but asked because I'm, yeah. I'm expecting, so I wouldn't be able to take any of these because the they haven't been tested except for this so one. The nettles is what I would recommend for women who are pregnant and they're dealing with allergies mm -hmm. um, during allergy season, try so you can try it. It's very mild, like a very mild green tea. Mm -hmm. It's really oh. nice. And you can sweeten it if you wish with a little bit of honey if you wanted to, but it's, uh, it's, it's something that's safe during pregnancy. And what sure. about for children? Because a lot of people don't like to medicate their children. Mm -hmm. Are they able to take these things? Yes, and there's other forms. You'll find tincture forms for kids that have, um, you know, that might be sweetened a little bit, just to make it a bit more palatable for them. There's capsules, and you can incorporate it in their food. Thank you so much. Naturopathic Dr. Olivia Rose telling us about some of the natural ways to combat allergy yes, season. Thank allergy you so season. much.